Good morning, boys and girls. Today is the 12th Sunday of the year. And the gospel that we're going to read, the words of Jesus, was spoken to his disciples just after he had called them by name. He had named 12 special friends who were going to be his apostles, who were going to be his missionaries, who were going to go out and tell the people all about him, especially after he had returned to his heavenly father. So he had called them and they were they knew that they were special to him and that he'd called them to do a special work for him. Let's just listen to the words of Jesus. They're taken from St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 10. Jesus said, Do not be afraid. What is concealed will be revealed, and everything will become clear to you. What I tell you at night, you will tell in broad daylight. What is spoken in whispers, you will shout from the rooftops. Do not fear those who can do you physical harm but the one who can destroy your body and soul. My heavenly father knows when even one little sparrow falls dead from the sky, and you mean more to him than all the birds in the world. He even knows the number of hairs growing on your head. If you stand up in public on my behalf, then I shall stand up for you on your behalf before my heavenly Father. But anyone who denies me will in turn be denied. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ. I wonder, what are the words that really stay in your mind? The words that maybe ring in your ears? You know, for me, they're the opening words. Jesus says, do not be afraid. And so often we are afraid. And Jesus was concerned that his disciples would experience being afraid. They could be afraid of the people that he was going to send them to because they were going to give his message. And there were so many people against Jesus. There were the Romans, the Roman soldiers, the Roman governor. There were even people who should have recognized him, the priests at the temple. All of these people could really have it against the disciples. But he said, do not be afraid. Jesus has called you and me by our name. He's called us to be like the apostles. He's called us to actually stand up for him. He's called us to let people know that we're his followers, that we believe in him, that we love him, and that we want to do the good things that he has taught us to do. But unfortunately, there are lots of people who will try to stop us from doing that. 
But you and I know that God is on our side, that he loves us. He loves us so much. He even knows how many hairs we have in our head. He loves us to the core of our being and he will protect us and help us to be the proclaimers of Jesus. The people who will herald, will call out loud by the way we live as well as by what we say, but especially by the way we live and the good things that we do. So this coming week, what can you do to show the love of Jesus, maybe among your family, among your friends, if you've gone back to school, among your school friends? You can show people that Jesus is with you by loving them and doing good and kind things for them, by speaking of Jesus with love and reverence, by even praying for your friends. If you do this, then you are doing what Jesus has called you to do, and he will be with you. So we need never be afraid. Jesus, stay with me this coming week. Help me to make your love known to others.